Finally, this day has come and I'm proud to present to you one of my best, if not the best models, Project Onyx. It's a project for the 2K hours in Blender anniversary. So what is Project Onyx? This is the name for a model of Porsche 930. I made my last complex model more than 10 months ago. So the creation of a whole car is truly the test of my abilities. This project took me eight and a half hours on video, of course, I wasn't recording the whole time. And the whole two weeks was spent on this one model and it had several revisions. In the background, I will make a whole car because I will not be able to just show all eight hours. So where should we start this story? It's probably worth starting from the beginning. So with the very first thing, I created a Pinterest board called Project Onyx and edited a bunch of reference renders and photos in order to build on them and take inspiration from them. The next step was to drop all those references into the program called Pure Ref. This is basically an infinite canvas that you can put your references in. And I also found blueprints for 930 Porsche to drop them into my Blender's viewport. From the very beginning my tactic was to do each separate part and to adjust it to each reference separately. It took me some time, but it turned out to not be the most efficient tactic, because each separate part looked different from each other, so I decided to delete the model altogether. On my next try I started by simply making the points on references with the birds. It didn't look exactly like Porsche 930, but the forms are already familiar. It was necessary to fill each polygon manually, which was of course not fast. But when I added it subdivision surface, the miracle didn't happen of course, and the mod look demotivated me so much, because I honestly did not expect it to look this horribly. Well, I realized that I would have to work on each part separately. Here's one hour of progress. I worked to get a solid case to fit the sub D well. This is still not the final version, of course. I modeled the wheels because the car can go without them. Then I had to throw some textures on to understand how everything would look. Then I uploaded this render to Reddit to find out people's opinion. Because as I said in one of my previous videos, it's a good practice to take a break from your project and let other people look at it and give their opinion. Several users offered their suggestions on how to improve my model. Everyone had a problem with the forms and I agree, the longer I look at this render, the more I hated this car. One of the users even gave me three links to videos of Porsche 930 walkarounds. I decided to use those three videos as my main reference points. Because different cars in my old references had different modifications and different manufacturing gears. Therefore, each individual part, spoiler bumper wings were different. Slightly, but different. And so my car was just a Frankenstein and looked like him. The Porsches from those three videos were manufactured in about one year and looked the same. And in an hour and a half of video footage later, I had a completely different car. That I edited small details such as lights, these things, these things on the bumper and other small details that made this car look good. There are of course small flaws, but I think that's good enough. The main mistakes that I can personally note, even in the final version of this model, are the topology. I tried to do only quads, but in some places I just had to make handguns. And the connections. The connections between the panels, and uh, if you had watched up to this point without paying attention to them, now you can see. No space, no nothing. Therefore, the reflections are also slightly different. Going back to the model, I added new materials, then time has come for rendering. I needed to do as many renders as possible to show my model from the best side. So from several images that I added to my Pinterest board, I chose some to recreate. But in the end, I decided I want the Porsche to stand somewhere in the city. Eventually, I watched a video by Blender Guru about improving subscribers' renders, in which he said that something in motion catches our eyes. And so I used this advice, linking the camera to the car, making it seem like the car was moving through the streets at high speed. I will leave a link for this asset in the description. 
I also saw a Porsche with yellow discs, which I just recreated. I really liked the color of those discs and I decided that I could pick a main body color with them. I went to this website and after selecting the color of the discs, I picked a complementary blue color. Then I just had to wait a few hours for the render. For those who are wondering, I had Blender crush on me about 30 times. Of course it made me very angry, but this is part of the process and if you think that other programs are devoid of similar problems, then I will have to disappoint you. To save my nervous system, I made a macro key that saves my project. So every time I model something, I hit save. So I could lose a maximum of 15 minutes of work. Of course, 90% of the time I was just looking around how the car should look and just sitting and rotating the camera, thinking about my next move. Those videos that I have helped me to see where I need to put polygons. It helped me a lot to understand how I need to set the topology on my model. I also compiled a list of the details that I need to add. This list was constantly updated and changed, but it was very useful in order to track what I need to do next. Of course, I didn't work on the project 24-7. It took me 2 weeks and 9 hours of video material. If we look at the Steam hour count, we can see that the project took me around 20 hours. Of course, I would not claim that I can repeat such result in just 20 hours non-stop. Because again, I will ask the opinion of the community and other people and take some pauses. I'm sure I can repeat a similar result in a week, so you can comment your own ideas for the next big project. You might say that the spoiler I have is not the original from Porsche 930, as you can also notice from the reference videos. Yes, I agree, I did not succeed and had no desire to make this particular spoiler. Well, as I already said, different models have different modifications, different parts. Therefore, I can safely say that this is just a custom car. In the end, I'm happy with the work done. Of course, I could do it better. I even had the time for it. I can't say that I'll do better another time and consider that I hadn't modeled detailed models for 10 months. I can say with certainty that this is one of my best models. Most likely, I will return to this in the future, redo some details, add realistic materials, add seams, but not now. If you like this video and want to see more of this in the future, like, subscribe and comment. I will leave all the references and the materials used in this video in the description. But that's all for today. Bye bye.